guys, it's Chris Trot here from the PGA Tour department at TaylorMade Golf. I'm on the PGA Tour trailer and I'm down by the grinding machine. It's not something we do too often these days because we have the mill grind two wedge, but sometimes for tour players, we do put in an extra bit of heel relief or like this scenario, you get a player that wants the ATV sole put into the standard bounce. So how would we go about that on the tour? What would we do? I'm gonna highlight that straight away. First things first, I'd always take a Sharpie pen and I would look to measure out and agree with the player where we want. So I know that they want, first off, what's called a C grind. So this section here, which you mark, is what needs to be. That's gonna be the line that I look to remove. So the C grind will look to take out this heel relief here and then it will move into this section here as we move around. Now bounce will help your club get through the turf. It will literally do that, go in and give you everything back. But some players like this scenario do want to remove certain sections. As this is a custom one, it's also had a stamping. I do the stamping before I do the grind because I like to get that in there in case there's any mistakes with the stamp. You don't want to ruin a great grind with a bouncing stamp or something like that. Then the ATV piece, you mark where you would like that, and that is a channel down the middle. A lot of players like it for bunkers, to be honest, and they like the second bounce section to give them that push of the sand through. Now, when it comes to grinding on the truck, we, I would set the pace of the wheel. That's something I would do based on how much I want to remove. So when I start everything up, I mean, I know to start, I actually want to remove quite a bit of material. So you would adjust the speed. It's actually okay right now, but make it a bit quicker. And I would start just by little and often, but working in that ATV ridge. And like I say, the key is little and often and work the sides. And every time you make a move, use like a whiteboard like this that you can check, see where you are. You have your markings in there. Just trying to add that channel. So there's the start point. Then you want to start to work on this C. And take the speed up a fraction. Long strokes. Just shape away. Just blending away. I think one of the keys is when you get to the back point as well, you want to make sure the back doesn't catch, it isn't too sharp. So I'll always shape that down. With a C grind, you're really looking to get rid of a lot of the heel, this area, this area here, and also some of the relief away from the toe. And we'll come back to fixing that channel up in a minute.
Okay. Next step, once you've got the general shape, you want to move to a buff wheel, something like this. And then you'll be able to clean up any of the shapes. So there you have it, sea grind with an ATV polished up on a mill grind two wedge. It's a lot of work as you can see and you have to move slowly and you have to adjust. The next stage now is you take a golf shaft and you put it down and you make sure that sits exactly how you want it to be. But that's the process that we work through on tour for specialized grinds and specialized players and we get into it in this area and dial it up. If you like what you're seeing, I'll bring a video out once every Tour Truck Tuesday and you can capture some sneak bits that go on the tour and ways to help your game and get fitted. Subscribe and follow and I'll see you next Tour Truck Tuesday.